you know, bringing that human element, you know, back into our marketing. With that said, though, I want to kind of flip it over to branding. I actually think for a lot of dealerships now we've actually failed in that place. You know, uh, Joe, you, you kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, you know, the cost of vehicles and dealers upcharging surcharges of five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars on a, a, a copy. I, I, I just I have a concern where it's like, yes, in some places, I think of our industry, we've become more human. And now in other places, we've almost just kind of transitioned and say, all right, fine, I'll, I'll do I'll be human in my marketing. But when it comes to actually selling someone a car, you're just another number to me. And I'm legitimately concerned. Now, look, not everyone's doing this. There's some dealers out there that are not doing this. All right. I still think they're they're, they're uh, maintaining an amazing brand. All right. They're, they understand that, you know, their customers are going to come out of this and they're going to come back to them. All right. They're building that loyalty. But I mean, man, these guys are going to come out, use cars in three to four years. They're going to be 10, 15, 20, 30 thousand dollars upside down in a price because now they you the think they're going back to the dealer well, they that's bought what it from saying, right I mean, so it's, it's like and uh, guys and, you know, we're well, all marketing don't forget people. their 72 month loan too. exactly so yeah, yeah. 96 uh but we're, we're all marketing yeah. people like there is not a marketing campaign that we can put out that's going to fix that kind of crap so i would love to kind of get your guys's thoughts on this um you know I, i'll get off my soapbox and i'll let you guys jump on yours and david i'll let you kind of start and i'll work my way down to joe so brand is a really interesting thought topic for me because I push it. Like yes. I, I preach it. And <laughs> I think since digital became a thing, dealers stopped doing a good job of brand anyways, right? I, we're a family owned business and we have the best deals. <laughs> it's not your brand. <laughs> no, That's, it's but not. It's, it's become the brand of the digital age as opposed to those truly community driven things that they understood for decades before digital. If you are that community guy, if you are that pet adoption guy, the scholarship, the, all those things, then you can't be justified in marking up a vehicle $20,000 over MSRP just because you want to maintain your profitability. I don't want anybody to lose money, No, but let's be real. Like, nobody's losing money. <laughs> you know? That's insane. You and if you are, money. then you're a bad operator. I'm just yeah. going to throw it out there. Oh, I'm going to get crap. You just, don't, it's you just, just don't know what you're doing at this yes, point. Yes, there we go. Thanks for tuning in to the Matador Yachtcast with your host, Jason Harris. Don't want to miss new content? Be sure to check out the full podcast library at matador.ai to stay in the know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy podcasting.